Hello everyone, welcome back to Pharmacam Insights. If you are new here, hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss an analytical tip. In this video, we will see the difference between hypercell ODS and BDS column. In reverse phase HPLC, C18 columns are the workhorses of many methods. But did you know that not all C18s are created equal? Today we will compare two popular hypercell phases, the classic ODS and the advanced BDS. By the end of this video, you will know exactly which one to pick for your compounds. So let's get started. First we will see hypercell ODS column. In this ODS stands for octadecyl silane C18 bonded phase. It is a standard C18 column with partial or no end capping. Free silanol groups may be present on the surface. This free silanol groups can cause peak tailing especially for basic compounds due to secondary interactions like hydrogen bonding. It is suitable for general purpose in reverse phase chromatography. Now let us see hypercell BDS column. In this BDS stands for base deactivated silica. It is also a C18 column but extensively end cap to deactivate silanol groups. It is significantly reduces secondary interactions with basic analytes. It provides better peak shape, improved efficiency and reproducibility for basic and polar compounds. It is designed specifically for analytes that are sensitive to silanol groups. Now let us see the comparison table between the two. First bonded phase, both hypercell ODS and hypercell BDS have the same C18 octadecyl silane bonded phase. The difference is there in end capping. Hypercell ODS have partial or no end capping while hypercell BDS is fully end cap that is deactivated. Free cinelol groups are more likely present in hypercell ODS while it is minimized in hypercell BDS. Peak tailing. Peak tailing is more likely observed in hypercell ODS column while it is reduced in hypercell BDS column. Hypercell ODS column is best for neutral or acidic analytes while hypercell BDS column is best for basic or polar analytes. Synanol activity is higher in hypercell ODS while it is lower in hypercell BDS. Now let us summarize. You can use hypercell ODS column for general applications where silanol interactions is not critical while you need to use hypercell BDS column when working with basic analytes to achieve better peak symmetry and reduce tailing. So that's the hypercell ODS versus BDS breakdown. Which one will you choose for your next run? Drop a comment below and let me know. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more chromatographic content and share with your lab mates. Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe my channel. Bye.